So a new law has passed, all right? And this is going to essentially enslave over a billion people, all right? And this is by the year 2025, just around the corner. It's almost 2023, guys. The year's rapidly approaching. The end of the year's rapidly approaching. Uh, you can see the trees around me. They're yellow, all right? I have a sweater on. It is getting cold up here in the mountains, all right? So things are changing, and this is right around the corner. This is only two years away, all right? So essentially, the mark of the beast has been legalized for 1.3 billion people, okay? And this isn't going to be exactly what you think, all right? So make sure you stay tuned because this is very complex. This, I know you guys get this, but this is a complex scheme that they've been working on for decades, all right? So just just to prime the wheels for you guys, just to set the stage, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to come full circle. Don't worry. This is what Al Gore said, all right? So Al Gore says climate change is like walking through the book of revelations it's very telling that he said that al gore and we all know al gore is this very big climate change guy he's been saying that ford is going to be underwater for 30 years and it hasn't even budged uh, an inch and why do uh why do all the richies buy properties on martha's vineyard if it's going to be underwater any day now all right so he said it's like walking through the book of revelations. I want you to remember that, all right? Because this system that they're implementing is essentially a beast system, all right? So China is implementing the world's largest carbon trading scheme by 2025, okay? And I've made this point a million times, but I need to make it again, that this climate change stuff is going to be used as the excuse for every single dystopian thing that they want to implement, all right? Because think about it. The air you breathe, the water you drink, everything is like, it's everywhere, all right? They can, they can track and trace everything with this system, all right? So it is going to be a essentially a carbon trading system for all the businesses in China, all right? So they will implement certain amount of carbon credits for each business. So let's just take Apple for an example. They will give Apple uh, whatever, 100,000 tons of CO2 emissions that year, all right? And they'll also give Google that much. They'll give them 100,000 tons of CO2 emissions, all right? These are all just made up numbers. But if they go over their emissions cap, they have to pay, all right? They have to pay the government for going over, all right? And how do they know how much they're emitting? Because they are tracking and tracing every little thing that these companies are gonna be doing now, all right? And this is also a, a kind of like Ponzi scheme because certain companies might not use all their credits, so they'll literally sell their carbon credits to other companies so they can, quote, pollute more or whatever. You know what I mean? There's a, a set amount of carbon credits that are put out each year and they divide them up to all the companies. And then if one company doesn't use it, then use all of it, then they can sell their credits to a different company, all right? This is dystopian, this is communism, this is the government, this is 1984, okay? And you think they're stopping at businesses? No, no sir, no sir. They are coming for everything you do, driving your car, uh, how much food you eat. Literally, your breath will be calculated. How many breaths on average you take a day. That will eventually be in the equation, okay? And this is this is how they're going to implement the system. They can't just come out and force everyone to, to do this, all right? They can't just force everyone to just, you know, put something in their body or whatever. But they can make resources so scarce they can make the economy so bad they can make people struggle so much that they become desperate and they will buy into this carbon credit system to solve the problem all right solve the problem we're t we're constantly being warned of scarcity and all this stuff when the scarcity is artificial yes there is scarcity yes there are shortages but it's all 
artificial. This was not happening two years ago, all right? This was not happening, not even a year ago was it this bad, all right? But especially two years ago, all right? This is completely artificially made. And the point is, yeah, to get you so desperate, get you so... You know what I mean? The food shortages get so bad, the inflation gets so bad that you beg for the government to implement some kind of control system. You beg for them to take over, all right? Look at what happened in Germany. Germany has taken over uh, the largest, they've taken over like the three largest gas companies in Germany and nationalized them, all right? People were begging, please, please nationalize, please bail us out, all right? This is their plan. This is an agenda, all right? And I forgot to even mention this. I forgot, totally forgot to mention this. This article talking about announcing this carbon credit system for China, I didn't find it on any other website. I found it on the World Economic Forum's own website, all right? <clears throat> so this is a World Economic Forum plan. This is a World Economic Forum agenda, all right? This is a global thing why are all these countries all around the world pushing this and europe already has a carbon credit system for businesses but only certain businesses but this one in china is going to encapsulate essentially every business in china every dollar because think about it, you can have money but all your money flows through a business to get stuff you have to go do business with a business to get to get items okay so you are going to be traced and tracked to this is this is just the beginning and then all your purchases will be traced and tracked as well all right and this is going to this is just going to be for everything it's going to be your health care it's going to be your insurance it's going to be every little aspect of our life is going to have the eyes eyes in the skies essentially and i read another article out of bloomberg and it was saying that China's surveillance state is the model for the West, for westernized worlds, because we know how much China's glorified in the media, okay? All these big celebrities cannot say anything bad about China, right? This is so weird. And it's, it's affecting their bottom dollar at the end, right? But all these different people, they can't say anything bad about China because they are kind of already in this system, all right? They're kind of already in this Chinese system. And this Bloomberg article is saying that it is a perfect model to implement for westernized countries, all right? So let's not do this. Let's not be a surveillance state. Let's not be a nanny state. Let's not have cameras everywhere. Let's not have people just in our, in our business. Let's not have the government on top of everything looking into everything they already are they're already in everybody's phone they're in everybody's uh you know what i mean everything has a microphone in it right random things have a microphone in it now i was i was i was trying to buy a vacuum it has a microphone in it why does this vacuum have a microphone it's so it's so weird i was trying to buy a vacuum the other day there's a microphone in it it's just like this we're already in the dystopia we're already it's already built around us it's already all over but they're just waiting to flip the switch right once they think people will accept it so don't accept it resist and prepare guys resist and prepare and peacefully legally lawfully i'm not talking about anything bad but you you should have a spirit of resistance against all of this bs all right so thank you guys and you have a big old blessed day